Hey YouTubers, this is Bob from the Five Acre Woods. If you don't know who we are, we are a homesteading family. We live in South Jersey. We live on five acres. We have raised any number of animals over our years here. We have raised a pig, lots of chickens, a goat, ducks, We've had some fish, and today we are preparing for the arrival of some new bunnies from three rabbits that we have bought for meat purposes. A few months ago, we purchased two females and one male. The official term is, or I'm sorry, does and bucks. We have two does and one buck. And one of our does is due, could be any hour, could be a matter of just days of new kits, which is the official term for baby bunnies. I'll probably say baby bunnies during the video. What I'm building here is a nesting box for the arrival of the bunnies, which I completed and it is now installed. If you don't know what a nesting box is, it is a box that you build for expecting bunnies, does. And in our case, we don't know how many she's going to have, but you build it with the ability to hold probably like six, maybe more, who knows how many she'll have. It's going to be 16 inches long by 12 inches high by 10 inches wide. Now it all depends how big you build it according to the size of your cage that you have them in. Our cage is about the area for them to be in is I believe 36 inches deep by 24 inches wide. So I built this accordingly and now this particular box is going to go into the back of the doe's cage and she's just going to be able to get back there, deliver her litter of, of kits and be able to get back to them about two times a day for feedings. Now getting to what I'm using here to build the box. I'm using all materials that I did not pay for, that I found actually, that I retrieve from the curb, from construction sites that I ask permission that I can get materials from first. Um, if you become friendly with a builder, they will sometimes allow you to come onto their site and take things. Nowadays, you're not supposed to take things out of dumpsters. Um, I think it's because there's liabilities. You can get hurt in a dumpster. It's not very uh, safe to be inside one. And um, I have been inside them, and they are dangerous. you got to be careful. What I'm doing here is I've already figured out how big I want the box. Now I'm just trying to figure out how to get it out of the materials that I have on hand. What I want to emphasize in this video is that I'm using ma the materials that I have on hand and also uh, that I don't pay for them. I should, I'm sorry, I should say that, that I didn't pay for, that I, that I, I got for free. But on top of that, I'm using tools that are very simple. 
a jigsaw, a drill, and just some screws. I do have more, if you want to call them more sophisticated tools, but I wanted to emphasize that if anyone wants to do this, they can. It's not that hard. If you're handy with tools, if you can measure, if you're, if you got the, the place to do it, you can do exactly the way I'm doing it here. Another point I would like to make is that in these hard times, we have obtained these these rabbits for the purposes of meat. We want to use them for just meat purposes. They are not pets. And the reason we chose uh, rabbits is we were convinced by watching other videos, seeing how easy it is to raise them and how cheaply it is that you can raise them. Right now, uh, food for bunnies is pr still pretty cheap and you get a lot of it. You just have to have their pellets and hay. And of course, water. And probably for about, depending if you just buy one, I'm sorry, if you buy just two bunnies for breeding purposes, you're nowadays you're probably going to pay anywhere from $60 to $80 per rabbit. Plus the, the cost of building the cage, unless you can do it like I'm doing with materials that you didn't have to pay for. And if you can do it with, in that way, you can save a lot of money. If you have to do it another way where you have to buy a cage, you're going to pay a, a couple hundred dollars, at least for a cage and for some bunnies. But the reason we chose uh, bunnies over any, another animal at this time is because they are easy to take care of. And even if you live in a uh, neighborhood, you could raise two bunnies and have litters of kits and you could um, dispatch them after you raise them and everything like that. And it, it would not make a lot of noise, not unless you told somebody, they probably wouldn't know what you were doing. Given the high cost of food right now, now I'm recording this and it's in April of 2022. We are in the midst of everything that's going on in the world right now, as everyone knows. And we had to take a proactive step toward being more independent. And if you're looking to do that, this way is a good way of doing it. Now, getting back to what I'm doing here is that, as you see, I'm making all these cuts. I'm building this whole thing with these simple tools. As you can see, it's just a simple jigsaw that I bought from Harbor Freight. It only costs something like $20. And by the way, I've had more expensive jigsaws, and this jigsaw is, for the money, better than many other tools I have paid more money for, and name brands that I'm not going to mention, but you don't have to pay a lot of money for these simple tools, and Harbor Freight has every tool that you could possibly need to get any job done on a uh, farm or residential uh, uh, application. Now, what I'm doing is I'm kind of fast forwarding here and getting through all this uh, building part of it to show you just you know, how simple 
the, the commute time. I don't need to tell uh, t- how to do every single step. And if you need to be uh, better informed with, with more detail, um, you could find it on YouTube. Here I'm cutting the bottom of the box, which is very important. Some people say that you should have the bottom of the box should be uh, have a lot of holes in it for uh, ventilation purposes. Um, I don't think that's really that necessary, but if you think it is, then fine. Now here you can see that it has plenty of room for the bunny to enter into. It's wide open. Our bunny's pretty big. But not too big for this box. And in fact, when she got in it, we put it in her, we put it in the back of her cage. She got in it in just a couple minutes. What I'm showing you here is the entrance is just to the right of the box, to the front of the box here. And the entrance to the back of her cage. And she's going to get in there, come right in and be able to go in and get back out, be able to go out and get water, get food for herself. And like I said, she doesn't come in but two times uh, a day to feed her kids. So if you liked what you saw, thank you for watching. Give us a big thumbs up, like and subscribe, and Enjoy some of these pictures of our bunnies. See you next time.